Broadcasting live from the Al White Ford Lincoln Studios, you can trade right with Al White. It's a scoreboard edition of Friday Night Thunder. I'm Dennis Weaver, along with Josh Peterson. Our producer is Brian Markham. Scoreboard producer is Danny Catalano. And our phone producer, Samantha Waters. And as we roll into the last half hour of the scoreboard edition of Friday Night Thunder, the complete scoreboard is available on our website, FridayNightThunder.com. We're not going to spend a lot of time talking necessarily about it. Uh, we are going to go a little later on and talk about matchups. Uh, hopefully we're going to do that in the last segment, uh, talk about matchups for next week. And I do know one matchup that's coming up next week. Moore County travels to South Pittsburgh, and we've got the head coach for the Moore County Raiders on the phone. His team victorious tonight over Harriman. Uh, down at the Whiskey Barrel. Coach Scott Smith joins us on the phone. Coach Smith, congratulations on the win, my friend. Thank you, man. Sorry I didn't get to spend more time with you guys. It's been a busy day today. Uh, hey, that's okay. I, I, I appreciate it. And, and I uh, we hadn't had a chance to talk to you very much at all. And, and I know you've had some health problems, and I just wanted to let you know, uh, without talking a whole lot about it, that I love you, and I'm, I hope you, uh, I hope you, you recover and, and, and do a lot better, okay? Well, I appreciate it. My doctor told me today uh, that uh, if everything kept going good, I'd be dancing by Thanksgiving. So I'm excited about that and ready to get this boot off. All right. Uh, Moore County tonight, victorious over Harriman, 20-7. to A tight game, uh, late, but your defense really bowed its back in the second half, didn't you? They just, you know, I tell you what, Coach Austin, Coach Price, Coach King put together such a good game plan today. Uh, usually we don't do a lot of standing, a lot of slanting, and we changed that up with just a little bit. Uh, and, sl- and slanted and stunted a little bit more, and uh, we tried to cover the air a little bit more tonight. Just tried changing some things up, and we were were very fortunate. Well, fortunate. I don't know about that. You guys, you guys do it right. I, I like the way you do things, and I like like how you you guys uh, attack things. And and uh, you guys have had some uh, you've had some battles this year, and and uh, some things go against you, perhaps. And uh, it's uh, it looks like maybe if you're going to get well and start playing good, this is a great time to do it, isn't it? Well, it's, it's been really good. I mean, it's that we uh, you know we had one of our. Uh, a starting middle linebacker uh, was out, and we started two sophomores tonight at linebacker. They did a great job, and hopefully we'll get him back next week. And, you know, knock on wood, we'll be as healthy as we've been since about week three. So we're excited. We're talking to Scott Smith. He's the head coach of the Moore County Raiders. Uh, I, I, uh, who else stood out for you tonight? I, I think that uh, I heard uh, that, uh, well, who, who were some of your stars tonight? Well, I mean, Dylan Davis is, is just has grown into such a good quarterback. I think everybody, you know, was uh, so leery when J.P. left last year, and J.P. was such a great leader for us, and Dylan has just turned out to be a just a great quarterback that uh, can, can, can run with his legs and also throw it with his arm. I think he had about 210 yards passing tonight, and just is such a good field, you know, just a good field general. On the defensive side, I thought uh, – Aiden Simpson, Jack Evans, uh, I thought Matt Taggett, Dylan Smith, uh, Sammy Adcock, who started as a sophomore, uh, just I just Joe Qualls, I just go down the line. Really, you know, our defense really kept us in the ball game and, and kept giving us opportunity after opportunity to, uh, you know, to, to to score. And then Harper Case really had a good solid game tonight at wide receiver. We're talking. To, we're talking to Moore County head coach uh, Scott Smith. His team victorious tonight over uh, Harriman, twenty to six. Uh, I think or twenty to seven. Excuse me, twenty to seven was the final there. Uh, perhaps I, you know, even if you do get the win uh, over uh, uh, over South Pittsburgh next week, and I think that you probably can. Uh, it might. You may or you may not host another game uh, tonight. The kids. Uh, the kids realize that maybe with Fayetteville winning, uh, that a win at South Pittsburgh would get them another home game? You know, they didn't. It hit me about the time I was about halfway home, Dennis. And, of course, we try never to think more than one game ahead. I thought, you know, uh, part of our speech was tonight and part of is that we lost on senior night, and I think that uh, it kind of really hurt our kids. And I think they wanted to come back tonight to kind of go out a, a winner at their home field. And now, you know, it looks up that if, Certain things happen to work out that we could actually host another game. Um, you know, great win for Coach Palmer and his kids being a first-year program. And I just, I just would have never thought 
that they could put 49 points on Gordonsville. I mean, Gordonsville, I thought, was one of the tougher teams in single A to be dealt with. Yeah. Well, I think you uh, you kind of uh, uh, you hit the nail on the head, but uh, the, the, the battle starts next week in South Pittsburgh. Uh, enjoy it tonight. Good luck in your preparations, and uh, uh, go get a win down there, okay? Thank you, Dennis. You brought us luck tonight. Feel free to come back to the Whiskey Bowl anytime, okay? All right. T- talk to you later. We'll see you soon. See you, man. Bye-bye. All right. This is Scott Smith, the head coach for Moore County. Let's-